up YouTube, it is your boy Rob the Video Game Hoarder here, and you are there, and it is time to finally unbox our YouTube trade video package from Mr. Hav, and uh, he sent this big ass box, Amazon Prime, because you know, us mail carriers love to see Amazon Prime boxes, but um, he sent it in two boxes. Because um, we had one of the games in a separate area, so from where the rest of them were, so I finally got the second box. So we went um, and opened. Well, well we, I started to open them up because he packed them really well. Um, he packed it up with some gay ass uh, packing peanuts, and then uh, went crazy with the uh, bubble wrap and bags and everything else. So. Uh, he definitely did a good job with packing, I'll tell him that. Um, I'll give him that, I'll tell him that. It's 3 o'clock in the morning while I'm taping this, so... Uh, just so if I'm fumbling my words, uh... Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, let me, uh, start going through this. Um... As you know, if you saw that trade video or saw the live stream, <laughs> that trade was a big one. Um, I traded them a whole bunch of uh, 3DO stuff that I got picked up. Um, which actually, uh, I told them about at the last trade show uh, that CM Retro had, so, um, and uh, I finally got it, so uh, we were finally able to work out a deal. Um, I'm always looking for sealed stuff, uh, the PS1 is my favorite system, so, um, and there's a couple games that I never had, or I didn't have in my collection, and, uh, so you'll see what I got. Um, when I was going for the PS1 run, I never had this game, uh, this one's a bit of a pricey one, uh, it's cool to have, it looks like it's in great shape, um, I don't know how to exactly say this, um, it's a four disker. Wow. Uh, Kodelka? Kodeka? Ko. I, I don't know exactly how to say it again. Um, it's an RPG. Uh, set in the late 19th century. Murder. Some other stuff going on. Uh, but I know it's a pretty pricey game. Uh, again, I never had it. Uh, so it's good to pick that one up. Um, let's grab the next pile. I even forgot some of the stuff that even came in the steel. There were so many moving parts in the steel. Uh, I gotta, I gotta see all this thing, all these things to see what we, uh, traded for. Uh, here we go. These are a bunch of the sealed games. They weren't uh, PS1 games, but again, like I said, I like sealed. Um, this one's cool. Shadow Man 2. I, uh, is this Shadow Man 2? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if this is based on uh, the comic uh, Shadow Man, I'm guessing. But, um, House of the Dead 3. Soul Nomad, I guess this is an RPG. Yeah, it's an RPG. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Um, made by NIS America. So, got a crazy glare going on. But, uh, I don't know if you can actually see what the hell's going on there. But, uh, this is a game I always wanted to play and never got to. Um, I like to pick this up again sometime. This one's sealed, so I can't really open it, unfortunately. But, um, Cold Fear. And these are two I'm really excited to have, uh, especially Sealed. Um, it, this is a really cool series, a Neo Geo series. Um, Metal Slug Anthology. And uh, Metal Slug 3 for the Xbox. So I guess that was an Xbox exclusive. Um, but it's a very fun series. Um go to the next pile. Okay. 
can't believe you had so many sealed games, too, and a lot of nice ones. Um, not just crap. I mean, I have a lot of sealed crap, and I have a lot of nice stuff, so um, it's good to pick up some more uh, nice stuff. I'll hold that one off. I'll hold that one off. So here's some crap. <laughs> Italian job. Um, this is in crap. Uh, I wish this was a, a black label version, but uh, this is one of my favorite games of all time. So this is really awesome to have sealed. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, big difference between this one and uh, the black label. I think this one is like 50 bucks. I think black label is uh, like $200. So way, way different. This is funny that he had this because somebody else had this at one time and wanted to trade with me and then we didn't, we weren't able to work it out, but it had like a little bit of a tear in the, in the, in the plastic and I, can't, I really don't like that with sealed games if it has a bit of a tear. Um, I kind of consider it not sealed anymore, so, uh, but this one's like perfect. So, uh, Evil Zone. I'm um, not exactly sure what's going on with this. I guess it's kind of a fighting game or uh, something. I, I really can't tell what the hell's going on. Uh, that middle thing looks kind of like Virtual On, but that other part looks kind of like a fighting game, so I, I don't really know what's going on in that game. But that's actually a game I never had either when uh, I was going for the full run. Um, these three are the better ones. Uh, this one, it's funny, because usually, um, uh, well, not always, but a second one in the series, uh, would be worth more than the first one, but, um, this one is not, this one's a big difference, uh, Alundra 2, that's another RPG, um, the first one is worth a hell of a lot more, it's almost like four times the, the amount this one, I think this one's like 50 bucks, and that one's like, almost 200 so uh, this is a cool game that I never had again when I was going for the full run and I had like 800 plus games so it's crazy that uh, he's had a couple games I never had and, and Seal too but uh, I wasn't going really for Seal at the time but Strider 2 this is another game I had a deal worked out with somebody else and it kind of fell through so um, but uh, awesome game And uh, this is funny because I just picked this up loose uh, for five bucks. Not loose, uh, complete in box, but um, not sealed. So uh, I picked it up for uh, for five bucks. But um, yeah, like I said, just a couple weeks before. So uh, it's funny that uh, he had this sealed. But um, so I'll probably be able to trade that uh, complete in box one. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. But Shadow Tower. Um, this is a 3D first-person RPG. Uh, not really my style of RPG. I kind of like the turn-based um, RPGs. But um, this one has got some value to it. So that was a cool one to get. And then uh, last game in the trade. Um, this is a big one, too. And again, this is funny because I just ended up trading for this like a week beforehand so I didn't necessarily need this game but uh, it's a really cool game to have in the collection and uh, it gives me something cool to trade to somebody else so that's why I ended up taking it in the trade uh, there's always people looking for this game so Again, he did a really nice job packing, so uh, I've had people that I've done trades with that just throw it in the, in the priority box and um, put no pack, nothing, like nothing to pad anything. I had one that just, the whole, a whole PlayStation 1 case like cracked and broke. I was like, you got to be kidding me. So, um... Look at that, he even put a piece of uh, 
paper for the discs. So <laughs> that's funny. But uh, Misadventures of Trombone. So now this is the second copy I have. So um, I will definitely be trading one of them. I'll uh, check which one's in better shape. This one's in really nice condition. Uh, I'll have to check the discs, but again, this is a uh, really tip top shape. So um, that's it. So I thought it was a really nice trade. Uh, thank you, Ha, for doing it. Um, I hope you enjoy those 3DO games. It was a shit ton of them. <laughs> so uh, and that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will see you in the next video. Bob is out.